Hello, this is Sylvia Lewandowska Flaviani, and I welcome you in Happy Tuesday, where I share practices to empower leaders in such a dynamic business and life. Today, I wanted to share a story with my daughter, who is three and a half years old. And for all of you who have children, I'm sure you know how inspiring those teachers that we have in our kids are. So just imagine it's Sunday evening, me and her, we are walking to the meadow around the house to collect some of the flowers. And for somebody who is tall, not even one meter tall, um, it's really like walking in the jungle to cross those, you know, grasses and uh, small trees and branches. So we were supposed to um, climb um, down the hill and she said, you know, mommy, it looks a little bit scary. So I said, I said, no problem, Maya, just give me your hand and I'm going to walk you down together with me. Just follow my steps. She said, fine. And when we found each other down there, she said, oh, wow, it's such a beautiful view. You know, we started collecting the flowers and then she saw this heap of sand and she said, you know, mommy, I know that next to this mountain of sand, there are horses. Can we just walk over there? I said, you know, Maya, we can try, but there is a, a road being built. So I'm not sure if we can really walk there. She said, now I'm going to lead you <laughs> because I'm not scared anymore. And I said, okay, you know, you're my daughter. <laughs> I wouldn't be myself if I would not allow her to do it. So she grabbed my hand and then we started walking um, to see the horses. We found each other in this really nice place where the view was amazing but we didn't finally see the horses because still there were some trees in front of us, which we couldn't really pass. Um, so funny thing happened because she said, you know, next time I'm going to find another way where we can really approach the horses. And now I'm going to lead mama. I'm going to lead you back home. So we started walking back and through the same hill that we had to climb down, down she climbed up follow um, leading and I was following why am I sharing this story with you today because of the two reasons first reason is the question to you how do you encourage people you work with how you build the environment where people can try things and maybe sometimes you need to pave the way and they need your hand that you support them in discovering and sensing their courage and the second thing is around motivation. She was so motivated to see the horses that no matter how high this mountain was, she still had this courage and motivation to reach her goal. And it's an amazing story for me. So just imagine how you can be impacted by a person that wakes up her potential or his potential around you. Then you are, you know, sort of, having this payment <laughs> back with your motivation, with your power. So this is how you can really co-create great places for people to grow. Cheers, and I'm waiting for your story.